Hello sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here again. Sportsman Z, as you can see by the t-shirt, my new t-shirt that I ordered. I'm here again with the Marlins 1994 season replay in Stratomatic PC Baseball. And as you might remember, we uh, have not won a game yet. We're 0 and 11. Seven games back, as you can see by the standings. <clears throat> 0 and 11. And uh, Philadelphia, New York, and Montreal are all tied atop our division at 7 and 4. So, yeah, seven games back. And um, as I said in my last game uh, that I televised, I'm going to keep televising games of the Marlins season until such time as they win a game. So until they win, I'm going to go game by game. So, you know, we'll see what happens, whether, you know, I have to go 15, 20, 25 games with, in a row in the season before we win or, or what the deal is with that. So just to look at the, the standings and we're going to get ready to rumble here. So let's go to um, schedule and play day and we, yes, as you can see by the matchup we're still playing San Francisco and it's going to be William Van Landingham for the San Francisco uh, Giants and for us it's going to be Pat Rapp. So, let's, uh, let's get into this. All right, you can see that the, um, the lineup for San Francisco is Patterson at second, Lewis in center, Bonds in left, Matt Williams at third, Benzinger at first, Martinez in right, Clayton at shortstop, Man Waring at catcher, and Van Landingham pitching. For us, we're going to go with Chuck Carr in center, the Governor Brown at third base, Jerry Brown. We're going to go with uh, Gary Sheffield in right, Conine in left, Magadan at first, Santiago at catcher, Kurt Abbott at short, and Brett Barbary at second, and then in the ninth spot, Pat Rapp. So with that, let's get on with the game. And you can see right out there, Pat Rapp getting ready to do his thing. I move myself over here a little bit. And he's going to be facing John Patterson. And Patterson hits one uh, probably to Conine. Hope. No, no, it fell in front of Conine. So it's a base hit. Darren Lewis is up. And that's going to be a ground ball, hopefully a double play. And it is. And now Barry Bonds up with two down and nobody on. And it looks like he's going to ground out to the Governor Brown. And he is out. So we come up in the bottom of the first. That was a good first inning. I like the, uh, you know, I like how we're started here. We got Chuck Carr up. Let's see what he can do. He's out. Let's go with uh, Jerry Brown, second batter. See what he can do against Van Landingham. I don't believe we don't have a Van Landingham photo. Uh, Brown got a board. Nice. So, um, Gary Sheffield. Sheffield really needs to come through here. And he is going to hit a home run. Is that a home run? Come on. Come on, Chef. No, he hit it right to the wall. So Conine is up. Brown still at first, but now with two down. And that is going to be a ground ball to second base. So it's 0-0 zero, zero going to the top of the second. Matt Williams batting against Pat Rapp. 
Hopefully a ground ball to Brown that'll be an out, and it is. Benzinger is up. And he is out. And that brings up Dave Martinez, the current manager of the Washington Nationals. And he is going to be safe. So Martinez at first, two down. Clayton up. If we can get Clayton, we're out of this inning, and then we can move on to the third. Or we can move on to the bottom of the second for us. And that looks like it'll be a fly ball to the chef. And that is an out. And so we are up in the bottom of the second with Dave Magadan at the plate. And he got aboard. Nice. Walked. Santiago. Benito. Benito Santiago. Looks like that's going to be a fly ball to Martinez that he should probably handle. And that will be a first out. And Kurt Abbott is up. And that is going to be a strikeout. And that brings up Brett Barbary. Barbary hits it nearly up the middle. And he's out. So, Man Waring is going to lead off for the Giants here in the top of the third inning. Man Waring, of course, from Horseheads, New York. Somewhat close to where I grew up. Somewhat. Maybe not really. But anyway, Van Landingham is up with Man, with, uh, man Waring aboard. And is that going to be a... Yeah, he's probably sacrificed him over and so you've got Patterson up now one down man wearing it second and he's gonna ground it to Magadan no, no they didn't get him we didn't get him oh my god Darren Lewis is up one down I'm gonna hope for the double play here all right well now I can't hope for the double play And that's going to be a safe. So they score a run. The Giants score a run. And now Bonds is up with runners at the corners. I don't like bringing the infield in. I really hate it. And as a matter of fact. And that might be another hit. Yeah. Oh, no, a double play. That was a double play. Nice. All right. Well, we got out of that with only the one run allowed. So let's see if we can get a run. Rap is up. But he's going to fly out to Martinez. That brings Chucky Carr in the top of the order again. And he hits it up the middle. Carr is aboard, and Brown is up. I thought he was a better base stealer than 65% chance, but, you know, what do I know? And that's going to be a base hit for Brown. And I am going to send the lead runner. I know Carr can run. So, yeah, runners are at the corners. Only one down. Chef is up. And that is a ball that loads the bases for Kona. That's not a bad situation. I'll sign up for that. And Conine hits it deep. That's going to score the run on third at least. And it might even be a double. Well, it did score the run on, I mean, the run on third. So it did score the run on third and tie the game. But Maggot is up now. And he is going to probably fly out to Bonds. And that is, that's exactly what he does. And so there are, we go to the top of the fourth in a tie game with Rap facing Matt Williams. The Giants third baseman, and he chases it and strikes out. Benzinger is up. He strikes out. Rap throwing the heat. He's bringing it. And then Dave Martinez. Dave Martinez looks like he's just going to pop out weakly to Abbott. So we're in a tie game, and Santiago is up. Bottom of the fourth. And he's going to get a base hit, so Santiago's aboard. Abbott is up. And 
And that and that's going to be a slow roller. Maybe that could get a base hit, get through. It's an it's an error, a single and an error. All right, so we got runners at second and third. Barbary up, man. We really need... Barbary's got to do something because the next batter is rap, I think. And he did not do anything. That's a big high pop fly to Patterson. All right, come on, rap. Let's see what you can do. Uh, maybe nothing. No, he walked him. Van Landingham walked rap, and so the bases are loaded for Chucky Carr. Not a good hitter, though. And that was a line out to Patterson, and so it's all up to Brown. Brown is one for one on the day, though, with a walk. So let's see if he can keep his great day going. And that is ball four, and it forces in a run. And we now have a two to one lead. And Gary Sheffield at the plate. Now the chef, we could really hope for a home run here, a grand salami. And did we get one? No, it's going to be a fly ball to Bonds, and that's what exactly it is. But we have a 2-1 to one lead, and if Rapp can keep pitching well, well, then let's see if we have some relief in the bullpen that can help him out a little later in the game. But Clayton, he puts Clayton on, and so now he's pitching the man-wearing. Man wearing is one for one. And hopefully he just grounded into a double play. And he did. And now it's Van Landingham batting. And they're going to pinch hit for him already with, with Daryl Strawberry, the straw man. And he's going to get a base hit. So he's aboard. Uh, they have a runner on and Patterson up. So at least we're going to be seeing some relief for the Giants, a relief pitcher. Although we've scored two runs off of Van Landingham, so we probably wanted to see more of him. But uh, Patterson still at the plate. That was a pass ball. That's going to be a base hit, though. But it doesn't score the run. Strawberry did not. He wasn't able to advance past third. And now the bases are loaded with bonds up. That's not really what you want to see. That isn't an ideal situation in any world. But he is going to ground out to Barbary, and that will be that. And we still, we got out of that with our, uh, with our butts intact. And they have a, a new pitcher, Dave Burba, is going to be on the mound now. For San Francisco pitching to Conine, who strikes out. And now Maggot is up. He's 0 for 1 with a walk on the day. And he is going to be struck out. I believe. No, I guess it was a... I don't know what happened there. But uh, they're still listing Maggot, and now they're listing Matt Williams. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Computer must have a glitch going on here. But it appears as though the Giants are up, and Matt Williams is the batter against Rat. Hopefully they correct this little mistake here. That looks like a fly out to Conine. All right, so now we're back on track here, I, I guess. Ben Zinger up with one out. And he strikes out Ben Zinger. Now I'm going to have a tough decision. If Rap keeps pitching like this, we only have a slim lead. So if he keeps pitching like this, do I go to the bullpen or do I keep him out there and try to extend him and get him a complete game win for the first win of the year for us? going to be a tough one. Burba goes back out to the mound and he's facing Kurt Abbott here in the bottom of the sixth in the uh, Florida Marlins home sixth. Kurt Abbott is looks like he's going to fly out to Bonds. No, it drops in for a hit. Bonds couldn't get to it and Barbary is up. Barbary's up with Abbott aboard and he strikes out. So there's one down and Pat Rapp. I'm keeping him hitting right now. Because I am going to keep him on the mound for the moment. And he's out. And that brings up Chuck Carr. And Chuck Carr is going to fly out to Bonds, I believe. And that is that. 
pitcher injured on the play, but he shakes it off and can continue on. Of course, that was their pitcher, so I don't really care. Royce Clayton facing Rapp here in the top of the seven. Now, this is about the time you would expect Rapp might start to wear down a little bit. But he strikes Clayton out, and now he's facing man wearing. And he strikes Man Waring out, and now Burba, I expect him to pinch hit for Burba, and they do with Willie McGee, the speedster Willie McGee. And he gets a base hit. Their pinch hitters are two for two on the day, and Patterson's up, and he's two for three. And he hits it right up the middle and gets another base hit. And now there's runners at first and second, but two down. If Rapp can just get us out of this inning. But he walks him. And he's tired. I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to try to let him get Bonds. Uh, it's probably not a great idea. No, he walked him. I'm going to try to let him get Matt Williams. I'm trying to let him... I mean, I want to get out of this inning with him. No, he walked him. Well, you know, these are not results of the tiredness because they're not, th those would be base hits. And then he hits a ground ball. He gets Benzinger to hit a ground ball to end the inning. So they bring in Rod Beck now in the seventh because they have a one run lead. It's three to two <clears throat> with uh, the governor, Jerry Brown, at the plate trying to catch flies here. Not fly balls, but real flies. And Brown gets aboard. Sheffield's up. He's 0 for 2, though, having a pretty bad day. And now he goes to the bullpen again, and he gets Rich Monteleone to come in to face Sheffield. Of course, this was in the day where uh, relievers didn't have to face three batters. But Sheffield just went yard, it looks like. Yes, he did. And gave us the lead. And now, yes, I am going to take Rap out when we go back into the field. But Conine is up for the moment. And there are still no outs. And it looks like that might be a double. Monteleone just sold the farm. Magadan is up with uh, Conine up. And yeah, they go to the bullpen again. And they're going to get Steve Fry up uh, on the mound. To face Magadan. And he's going to hit it to the right side. Man, that does not score the run, so Santiago is up with one down. And now they go to the bullpen again, and they're going to Pat Gomez. They are burning through this bullpen on our uh, sad-ass Marlins team. And Santiago hits it back up the middle, extends our lead to 5-3. you got to love that. Abbott is up 2-3 for three on the day. And Abbott is going down the line. Looks like a double or a homer. No, it's caught by Bonds, and now Barbary is up. And Barbary walks. Rap, I'm going to pinch hit for Rap. We are definitely going to pinch hit for Rap here. So let's go, let's see. I'm facing Gomez, who's a lefty, who's a 9L, so I want a right-handed hitter for sure. And Colburn is definitely the guy I want. So we're going to pinch hit Colburn. He keeps him in to pitch to him. And that's going to be an out. No, no, it's an error. He makes an error, and now the bases are loaded with Chucky up. Chucky Carr. And Chuck Carr goes near up the middle, but um, it's an out. And so we have a 5-3 lead. I am going to bring in Matt. I'm going to bring in Brian Harvey. Okay, let's. I guess they want me to put him in. Um, what happened? No, Harvey is going to be the. Well, all right. I mean, we can do that. I guess I accidentally dropped him in the wrong place. Harvey will be the pitcher. 
And I guess we need another shortstop because I accidentally took uh, our shortstop out of the game. But that's fine. Probably have one of those. And Arius will play shortstop. And so we have Brian Harvey facing the manager of the Nats, who is 0 for 3 on the day. This is the top of the eighth, and we have a lead. This is probably the best game we played all year. Although Harvey um, lets Martinez get to first, so now he's facing Royce Clayton. Facing Clayton. And Clayton is going to get a base hit, and hopefully they stop at second with Martinez. They do. Man Waring is up. They're near the bottom of the lineup, so they're going to bring in Mark Carrion to pinch hit. And uh, that is hopefully a double. That would be great if it was a double play. But it's not. It's one out. But we have a two-run lead. So go, I expected him to pinch hit for Gomez. And Steve Scarstone is going to be the pinch hitter. And he's going to hit it. Out? Did Steve Scarson go deep? No, don't tell me that. No, but it was a fly it was a fly ball that scored the run. So the three for four Patterson steps to the plate. They put a pinch runner in Thompson. We have a slim one run lead. Patterson having a real day, but he strikes out. Harvey gets him to strike out, and we are going to the bottom of the eighth. So if we can hold this lead, well, I, we need to extend our lead right here. It would be nice. Brown with a hit. Sheffield is up. The chef. He hits it nearly up the middle to Clayton. And they do turn the double play, and so now Conine is up. He's one for three with a triple today. And he's out. So let's see if Brian Harvey can nail this thing down and get us our first win of the season. That's going to be hit near the middle to Arius, and he throws him out. Bonds is up. If Bonds doesn't go yard, that's, I mean, that's the only thing that would be a problem. He walks, and so Matt Williams is up. Come on, Harvey. Let's get him. Let's, let's nail this thing down and put it to bed. And he does with Williams, and so there's two down. Bonds steals second. But, uh, you know, if Benzinger doesn't get a hit, it's not going to matter. What happened there? It looks like a fly ball to Carr, and that should be the final out. And that is, and we win our first game of the year. So look at all these pinch hitters for the Giants. We'll take a quick look at this. But yeah, Rap, he went seven. He allowed seven hits, two earned runs, struck out five, had a good game. Harvey came in, got the save. He pitched two innings and allowed a run. But that was it, and we had a two-run lead to burn. So yeah, we... Uh, Let's go to the uh, league stats again. I want to see that one. There it is, 1 and 11. So now, the next time you watch the Marlins, we will be a little further ahead in the schedule because we have won our first game. And that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing up.